up on UCF Sports Night. The 2008 season gets underway. Catch you up on all the night's action from the week. We'll meet UCF's new head volleyball coach and show you his intense new style. And we'll show you the top three plays from this week. All that and more on UCF Sports Night. UCF Sports Night is brought to you by UCF TV. Today's show is also presented in part by Bright House Networks. See how bright life can be. By Holler Classic, the official automotive group of the UCF Knights. And by Coca-Cola. Welcome to the Coke side of life. Welcome to UCF Sports Night. I'm Jeff Sharon. Thank you so much for joining us. We have a lot to get to in our first show, and we'll get to it in a little bit. But first, we want to tell you what our show is about. Our goal with UCF Sports Night is to take you inside all of UCF's athletic programs, from cross country to softball, from volleyball to soccer. We're going to show you the inside, take you into each program, have in-depth interviews with players and coaches, and even a few other people who make things happen here at UCF. We'll also show you highlights from every sport we can possibly show you here on campus. And we'll give you the latest in news and plenty of features here on our show. In our first show today, we will talk with head coach Todd Dagenet, the first year head coach of UCF Volleyball. Plus, we'll catch you up on women's soccer who had a big week. But first, let's catch you up on what else happened throughout the world of UCF sports. And it starts with football, their season opener at Bright House Network Stadium against South Carolina State as the team begins its defense of its Conference USA Championship from 2007. Let's take a look at the highlights. A rainy debut for the Knights on the gridiron against South Carolina State on Saturday, but that did not stop Latavius Murray. He punched in two touchdown runs in his first game as a Knight, plus the defense was outstanding. They hold the Bulldogs to just 44 offensive plays and route to a shutout in the opener at Bright House Network Stadium. 17-0 the final and a great start to the 2008 season. The men's soccer team started their exhibition schedule against crosstown rival Rollins College back on August 15th. They had been practicing for just two days before the match, but in the first half, they looked sharp. Senior Ryan Rauschendel put one in the back of the net in the opening minute, but the goal was disallowed because of an offside call. The Tars tacked on their only tally in the 73rd minute, that would turn out to be enough as UCF came up just short in their exhibition opener, 1-0. Tropical Storm Faye forced UCF to cancel its second exhibition match with St. Leo, so then it was on to the third and final preseason game against College of Charleston. And the highlight here, Sean Johnson, fantastic in goal. Watch the spectacular stop on the penalty kick. What a play. Johnson held the Cougars without a goal as UCF and College of Charleston run to a scoreless draw. The women's soccer season got underway back on August the 16th with an exhibition match in Tampa against USF. Two keepers, freshman Alina Reyes and junior Lindsey Lee, split time minding the net. Combined, they held USF without a goal for the last 85 minutes of the game. USF's only tally came in the fifth minute. Final score, 1-0. It was the only exhibition match for the Knights as they began their 2008 campaign. Tropical Storm Fay forced the Knights' regular season opener back three days to last Monday night. But UCF suffered a bit of a setback at the hands of Florida State. The Knights went down 5-0 in Tallahassee. So after that, the Knights made the trip up to Gainesville for a meeting with Florida. And the Gators did not see this one coming. Alina Reyes outstanding in goal for the Knights like a brick wall. Eight saves for UCF, and they needed every one of them because in the 84th minute, off the turnover, Yvonne George splits the defense and puts it in the back of the net, and the Knights get the win over Florida, 1-0. Coach Cromwell spoke after the game. You know, they, Florida goes forward with numbers, and sometimes they leave their backs uh, with uh, only two or three in the back, and we uh, got the ball quickly to Yvonne. Great job just taking the dribble forward, beating the girl on the dribble, and um, what a composure on the finish. It was fantastic, because that's not easy. More drama in the home opener at the UCF Soccer Complex on Sunday as Hartford came to town. 
Another great effort by Alina Reyes in goal as she jumps on top of this Hartford opportunity. In the 85th minute, Becca Thomas finally catches a break for the Knights. She goes in and scores this huge goal, her first of the season, and that was all the Knights needed. UCF off to a 2-1 start to the 2008 campaign, thanks to the 1-0 victory over Hartford. And the UCF volleyball team got off to a good start under their new head coach, Todd Dagenet. They go 2-1 in the Georgia Southern Invitational in Statesboro, knocking off Jacksonville and Presbyterian in five sets each. Congrats to outside hitter Janine Williams. He took home all tournament team honors. And congrats to Coach Dagenet for his first two victories as the Knights' new head coach. And coming up next, we will have more from UCF volleyball as we talk with head coach Todd Dagenet and introduce you to him and his new program. Plus, a little bit later on, we'll ask the AD that and plenty more when UCF Sports Night returns. Welcome back to UCF Sports Night. It has been nearly a decade since the UCF volleyball team welcomed a new head coach. But in the summer of 2008, Todd Dagenet came over from the University of Southern California, bringing with him an excellent resume and a whole new attitude for the volleyball team. We spoke with some of the players about their very first impressions of Coach Dagenet, and this is what they had to tell us. Our first meeting with Coach Todd um, was a very intense experience. Um, it was awesome to get to meet him for the first time. We were all really nervous and excited. And so you could just feel the aroma in the room. It was just really exciting. Everybody's just kind of like looking at the door, like, is it coming? Is that him? You know, every time the door would open, you would wonder if it was him or not. And finally, he came in. And he was just this tall, bald guy. <laughs> you were just like, is this him? And he just brought it. I remember he brought a whole presentation about where the team was going to go and how we were going to do it. He had specific numbers from last season and you know this season and how he or what he wanted our, us to do this season and I've never met a coach where he could have 16 girls be that ready just to go on the court for him you know and everybody was just ready to turn a new leaf for UCF. He wants you to get better all the time and, and he wants us to be successful 24-7 so I mean I, I'd say he's you know he's working for you all the time. And, the first few practices were definitely a different pace than we were used to. You know, it was just uh, ratcheted up the intensity, you know, into high gear and just very efficient. Um, Coach Todd's style is, I, I'd say it's pretty intense. It was very fast paced, very in high intensity, um, a big difference from kind of just going through the motions so that every, every rep meant something. It just feels like a new commitment, like you've just renewed, you know, what you want to do with yourself on the court. and off the court and in the classroom and everywhere just I think one of the big things that Todd has done is just instilled confidence in us like I never I've never ever doubted a word that um, Todd has said you know I think the team is embracing the new situation and just g growing as a team and coming together and every practice that we have every team meal every you know team event that we have it, it always just brings us closer together, so I think that's definitely what we need right now. And then we've also grown, I think, as a team in maturity level. I think that everyone has, you know, grown up a little bit, and we've really rededicated ourselves to what we're doing. So that was definitely a big growth period that we saw, and we we're very excited about that. To be a continuous force in Conference USA, this program, I mean, I think basically just pushing every single day to become the best that we can. Other teams like football and uh, was it softball and women's soccer? They've had their championships, you know, and it's our turn, and that's the challenge we're giving ourselves right now is to become a championship team. And, you know, I think that with all the hard work we've put in and are going to put in and the, the coaching staff and what everyone's bringing to the table, I really don't think that we could go any other way. And hopefully these girls will, you know, carry on what we start this year and just take it and run with it, and that's what we're looking forward to. And joining us now is the man of the hour himself, head coach Todd Dagenet, first year head coach at UCF Volleyball. How you doing, coach? Congrats on the successful opening weekend. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, you, when you came in here during that first day, 
What did you tell the players to really get them to buy into the program that you envisioned? Yeah, I think it really wasn't that hard because this is a team that really wants to achieve on in the classroom and on the court. And for us, it was about putting together a process, the process of being good, the process of building a gym culture, a championship behavior, a competitive behavior. And so once we laid out the plan and they could see the plan, and if they can see the plan, they can follow the plan. And once we got those things into place, it really wasn't that hard to get them to buy in because they're trying to be the best they can be. You've been with the U.S. national team, you've been with Michigan State, you've been with Southern Cal, volleyball powerhouses. What lessons did you take from those experiences with you here in Orlando? Well, I was really fortunate to get those lessons underneath three great coaches. Toshi Yoshida with the national team really taught me you know, all the various ways to play the international game, and that's really coming in handy right now that we're playing 25-point sets. Back at Michigan State, Chuck Irby was a great practice coach teaching, discipline, skills, all those kinds of things were really important to build the foundation of a team. And then going out to USC and working with Mick Haley, another Olympic coach who just is a wonderful people manager and really finds a way to get the most out of his players and put them in roles that they can be successful in. And so I'm just trying to take a little bit from each of them and put it in our team and, you know, and, and, and have them buy into what we're trying to do and just trying to make those coaches proud of me. This is historically the most successful athletic program here at the University of Central Florida. You see the banners every day at practice. What's it going to take to get UCF back to the top? I think right now it's, again, it's just focusing on the process. We've got to keep it real simple right now. We're trying to put all these things into place without overwhelming anybody. Once we get the processes and the pieces in place, then we just keep moving forward. But I don't think it's going to be that difficult. We've got a wonderful university, great academics, and we've got wonderful kids here. It's just a matter of putting it all together and, and, and trying to make something happen. Real quickly, tell us about that first weekend in Statesboro, your impressions of the team. I think we've got a pretty resilient team. You know, To go on the road and win two out of three matches, all in five games or five sets, you know, it was good for us to be able to go in and have to perform under that kind of pressure, and we were pretty close to winning all three of them. And so I think we've got a lot that we can build on and go forward with. UCF head volleyball coach Todd Dagenet, his team plays number two Stanford at the UCF volleyball venue this Tuesday. Stick around. UCF Sports Night returns in a moment. We're going to have a look at women's soccer and the gauntlet that they're running through in their early schedule, plus our top three plays of the week when UCF Sports Night returns. Fans, here's a look at upcoming night's action this week. Brought to you by UCFAthletics.com, the official site for UCF Varsity Sports. UCF Sports Night returns in a moment. Welcome back to UCF Sports Night. Jeff Sharon with you once again. And uh, we're going to take a look at women's soccer now. Got off to a bit of a gauntlet start with the schedule. And joining me now is head coach Amanda Cromwell. Good to see you, coach. Thanks for having me. Tell me, you know, how is this squad, how is this year's squad better from last year's squad? Well, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting because we, we lost some defenders. Um, and so we're filling in th that role. Uh, but we should be very good in the attack because we return all of our attacking players. So um, that being said, we've yet to score a goal uh, in our, our preseason game in our first game of the season. Uh, but we just have uh, we have a lot of athletic talent on the field. Uh, and we, we should be able to run at teams and score some goals. Who has emerged as sort of the leader of this team in this early stage of the season? You know, our seniors, we have four seniors, they've all stepped up to the plate. Uh, Jesse Gardner, uh, one of our backup goalkeepers, back. done a great job. Sarah De Leon in the defense. Um, Danny, um, one of our Brazilians, uh, you know, she always, you know, she's always got something to say. She's just very, um, you know, she's on the field. She's um, a very good leader. Um, so, oh, sorry, Hannah Wilde, of course, you know, our all-conference player. Um, you know, she's so crafty in the field, but she's really stepped up into a leadership role um, this, this uh, fall so far in preseason. You've got three keepers on the active roster. What do you do with them? I mean, this is a, it's not a bad problem to have, though, really. 
No, we always like we like to carry four. On, you know, one's we're gonna redshirt um, for training purposes, and um, you know we have three that can go in there and start. We feel that confident with all three of them. Alini stepped up to the plate and has earned a starting spot right now, and so uh, we, we expect her to do that. But we, we feel, very, feel very confident with uh, Gardner or Lindsay. This season's opener didn't quite get off to the start that you wanted, no. but what did the team learn from that first game at Florida State? Unfortunately, we learned a lot. <laughs> they, uh, you know, the biggest thing we learned, we cannot make mistakes against good teams. They'll just punish you for them. And I think if you look looking at the film, all five of the goals were off of our direct errors, whether it was a misclear, a turnover in our defensive third. Um, all things are very correctable, so we're not panicked at all. Um, but just, just uh, mistakes like this can't happen against the number four team in the country. And they, they finished very well. Last question for you, what will be this team's biggest challenge in 2008? I think the biggest challenge is sorting out the defense and um, you know we want to get some shutouts early on to get that confidence. Um, just, when you lose the defensive player of the year and Jenny Manis in goal and on some key defenders, defensive center mid, you, there's, a, you know, there's a need for players to step in there. So we, we really are looking for some rookies to step in um, and we're hoping that uh, happens very quickly. All right, head coach Amanda Cromwell, thank you so much for joining us here on UCF Sports Thank Night. you. Stick around. When we return, it's our Ask the AD segment with Keith Tribble, and also we'll show you our top three plays of the week when UCF Sports Night continues. Fans, here's a look at upcoming night's action this week. Brought to you by UCFathletics.com, the official site for UCF Varsity Sports. UCF Sports Night returns in a moment. JetBlue chose Orlando for its new flight training center, the presence of UCF strongly influenced their decision. The results? An investment of $160 million and 150 new jobs. UCF stands for opportunity. Welcome back to UCF Sports Night. We'll get to our top three plays of the week in a moment. But first, we're going to introduce to you a little interactive segment with athletic director Keith Tribble. It's what we call Ask the AD. Roll it. What is the new sign policy at Bright House Network Stadium this year? So we we put out a policy that it really is it's, it's really a common sense policy, if you want to call it that. Uh, we have a uh, size limitation. Can't be any larger than probably a poster board. Uh, can't be anything that's um, uh, attached to any of the building or uh, fences of that of sort. Um, and, you know, can't be offensive. You know, we don't want offensive signs uh, out there. Uh, and really something, you know, as long as it's in good taste, um, we want our fans to express themselves, but in a way that's uh, befitting of a, of a night thing. What are we planning to do to honor our football alumni? Well, our hopes uh, are to um, begin a process of really um, uh, honoring those individuals who uh, played a significant role in UCF football over the years. Uh, as you know, we're celebrating uh, you know, almost 40 years, close to 40 years uh, uh, as an athletics program. Uh, uh, and so we think it's very appropriate to bring back those former lettermen, former football players who have, who have really been the, I want to call it the foundation of this football program. People like Dante Culpepper, Hopefully we can get that done. It's something that we believe is very important because we want our fans to um, begin to see the tradition of what has been started here in UCF football. Not too bad. And remember, if you have a question for Keith Tribble, send it in to us. Our email address is askthead at ucfathletics.com. That's askthead at ucfathletics.com. Send it in, and if we choose your question, we'll put your name on the show. Once again, ask the AD at ucfathletics.com. Well, we have had a lot happen here in our first week of athletics here at UCF since classes started. 
and plenty of drama and great moments already. And for our look at our top three moments and top three dramatic moments, really, let's have a look at our top three plays of the week. Number three, Latavius Murray slams the door on South Carolina State with his second touchdown of the game. The Knights get their first win of the football season over the Bulldogs at Bright House Network Stadium. Final score 17 to nothing. Murray scored both of UCF's touchdowns in that game. Play number two, penalty kick for College of Charleston in men's soccer in the exhibition match. But UCF keeper Sean Johnson says, you get nothing. The Knights sprint to a scoreless draw with the Cougars. Thanks again to Sean Johnson for a spectacular save on that PK. And play number one, Yvonne George in the women's soccer game against Florida up in Gainesville. It was the only goal of the game, and it was all the Knights needed as she splits the defense and puts it in the back of the net. The Knights run past the Gators, one to nothing, the big victory in Gainesville for UCF. And those are your top three plays of the week. Wow, amazing, and that was just the first week, and we've got even more in store on campus here. In our second week, here's a look at what's coming up. A huge week of sports on campus begins with volleyball taking on number two ranked Stanford in a tremendous matchup at the venue. The first 1,000 fans get free tickets to Saturday's football game against USF. The Knights then head out west to Lawrence, Kansas for a doubleheader on Friday with number 11 Oregon and Utah Valley and another big matchup with Kansas on Saturday. The cross country team gets things going on Friday with the Black and Gold Challenge. The action takes place Friday, September 5th at 4.30 near the UCF softball complex. Women's soccer heads out west this week. They visit Pacific on Friday before heading an hour north to take on UC Davis on Sunday. Men's soccer also renews its annual rivalry with Stetson in DeLand on Sunday at 7.30 p.m. They have won 27 of 37 all-time meetings with the Hatters, but are coming off a loss last year. And of course, football takes on I-4 rival South Florida in Bright House Network Stadium for the first time Saturday at 7. And that's a look at your week ahead. Well, that'll put a bow on week number one. Check out what we have coming up for you in week number two here on UCF Sports Night. We'll have a look at the new on-campus cross-country course and a look at the unique assistant coach who helped to build it. Plus, we'll have all the highlights from the week, including volleyball's big matchup with number two Stanford and, of course, football taking on South Florida. Thank you so much for joining us here on UCF Sports Night. I'm Jeff Sharon. We will see you again right here, same time, next week. UCF Sports Night has been brought to you by UCF TV. Today's show is also presented in part by Budweiser, the perfect balance of flavor and refreshment. Open up a world of taste. By the energy-saving conservation programs of Tico People's Gas. And by Centex Homes, proud to support UCF Athletics.